Hello average anglers and welcome to another live match at Acorn Fishery. It's, it's actually half an hour before the start of the match and I'm pretty much ready. That's because of the long uh, setup times that we get th thanks to Covid, which is nice actually because it gives me plenty of time to set up my cameras and all my gear. I kept it quite simple today, but I don't normally go through what I'm set up, but I thought why not? I've got an opportunity today. So these are the baits I'm pinning my hopes on. Bit of ground bait. Some micros, some four mils, both of those have been soaked a little bit. Some hard sixes, some hard eights, some expanded mixed sizes. I was contemplating fishing, or sorry, going to the tackle shop and buying some maggots to feed against the bridge, because I've drawn a bridge peg here. Peg 21 this is on Acorn Paddock Lake. I've got a line set up just about there. That's, in the, that's my full depth line, which I'm kind of hoping to catch everything on if I need it um, over in this corner here I've got a I've got a rig set tight over in a foot of water and then a little bit further away in two foot of water and then over here I've got again if I could just find it on the camera yeah, I've got one set here in a foot of water and then one a little bit further away in two foot of water I'm not set anything for down the middle just this one on the left and then I've also set up a rig for just sort of here just in the shadow of the platform but not too tight the platform is a lovely flat area almost bang on two foot deep giving a nice flat area i feed that quite positive with hard, hard pellets probably because sometimes down this straight down here you can catch short and um, so I've, I've been quite targeted in the shallow water because the weather's kind of warm in the day and cold at night i don't feel like the, the proper fish are going to want to be in the deeper water they want to want to be shallow it's just how shallow and how brave they are coming up um, you know, if the sun came out, people might catch mugging, but that's not something I want to do unless I get forced into doing it. We've got about half an hour, mate, about 25 minutes. That's Eddie on the next peg, asking me how long we got. So, anyway, guys, there's a little intro. Hopefully, by the next time you see me, I'll be fishing the match. Right, all in's just sounded. And... Just gonna put up all the ground bait up against up against the bridge. A few bits and bobs in it. Start straight over. In the shallow water. about I snapped my pole before the match started so I've had to get my backup pole out which is like a, a bit heavier but luckily I'm only fishing 13 meters so um, it shouldn't cause me too much inconvenience I'm just gonna go over no feed fish over in the shallowest water that I feel I can and just see if I can hook some early fish that are just sitting there maybe before we decide what we do with feed I think it's going to be a tricky day. Just going to leave the cameras rolling for the first couple of minutes and see what, if we can get some live bites. I'm fishing tight up there where the, bear, where the bank's bare. So I can get right tight. It's not flat there, it sort of slopes away straight away, but so I'm sort of on the slope. And so oh, my expander will be lying up the slope there. Just having a look to see what what if anything's there I'll sometimes like to do this when I think it's going to be hard because then uh, I can gauge what impact my feeds had because um, if you go straight in your pellet goes straight under then your feed probably wasn't the reason but you might think it was and then you end up banging more feed in and actually you didn't want feed and you've already ruined your peg so some days you just look better off 
pottering back and forward. Just giving it, yeah, don't give it long. Yeah. If there's fish over there in that shallow water, you'll get indications, the float will move. I'm expecting my line over to move towards the bridge to my better line, which is why I'm starting on this line to my right. Hoping that um, I can catch some fish from here and then go into my better zone later on. Right guys, 45 minutes in, not a fish. Not really a positive bite, I've been tight over into sort of a foot of water and I've been down the channel into two foot of water. I seem to be getting liners and two foot, but the fish are very, very shallow. I've tried to catch them up. It's just not working. It's just, just seem to be there, but I don't want to take a bait. So I'm just having my first put after 45 minutes ago, right at the start of the match, I put in a ball of ground bait and some micro, uh, a bit of a mixture of pellets actually up against the bridge down in the deep water. Because I'm hoping there's a few tents residing under this bridge and there'll be nice little weight builders as the match goes on. I've hooked one as soon as I put well, something as soon as I put it in. Whether it's a tent or not, I don't think so. If it is, it's a small one. But that's the first bite I've had for 45 minutes and I've lost it. Ah, bugger. Maybe I pulled him a bit hard then. Got a small stock here or something that uh, got soft mouth, I didn't see it. It's a bit of a quandary at Acorn because, as you've seen from your previous videos, there's some whoppers in here and you can catch them anywhere. The last thing you want to do is have silly light elastics. So it's kind of trying to make it work. For, for those, I mean, the better tent stub, you know, this, this, this number 11 that I've got in at the moment is ideal for those better tench. It's probably slight slightly undergunned for carp. Well, we're nearly an hour and a half in and I've hooked something better. Let's go right up the far bank and do my old ground bait and expander trick that I do here and I can't get a bite. Hopefully I've hooked him in the pie hole. It's been hard work. It's come back to me quite easily. It's not swimming fast, so it could be a good fish. Could also just be foul hooked. But it's not it's not wamp enough at the moment to make me think it's a small fish. Which is what I could really do with a big fish to get the confidence up and Feel like I'm, to be fair, no one's emptying it, everyone's struggling, people are fishing down the middle for a bit. Yeah, it's just a nice, nice little two-pounder. He's <laughs> got another one up in that corner. Well, I think he might be fouled up. He's only a small fish and I can't seem to do anything with him. And he jumped out of the water after I hooked him. He looked like it looked like the hook was sort of towards the back end of him. He's only a couple of pounds, so to be able to put this much force on the pole, you've absolutely got to be foul locked. I'm hoping that I can, he's hooked well enough that I can just get him into the net. It was a strange bite, so probably was a foul locker. Probably just a liner. Yeah, you can see out of the way that that's wiggling. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Hooked in the root of the tail by the looks of it, yeah. Two hours ten in. Then we've got a skimmer on. Just caught this under the bridge there. A few fish about, but it's very, very hard to get any sort of run a fish together at the minute. This is our second skimmer I've had. But that's probably a good time for a two hour update so it's just over two hours. I've got two skimmers, two carp for probably four pound if I'm lucky. 
strangely I don't feel like I'm out of it because hardly anybody else is catching. Um, I've set up a new line to my right in deeper water which I can use this bridge rig. I can use the same bridge just because I wanted somewhere to go. And I've got a bit of um, pellet over there and I've sat on it for 10 minutes and had one indication so I've come off it now give it a rest. And rotate between that and the bridge line a couple of times and then I'm also going to pop back out and have a look over the uh, tight over line tight against the corner of the bridge in the bank where the bridge and the bank meet because I've got a couple of small carts from over there so maybe I'll be back over there but the minute it's just literally trying to find a bite there's no consistency to anything um, everything's just really hard everyone's struggling it's just the case of ticking over. I think they'll be at some point they'll start feeding. There'll be a window where they all start feeding. They've just got to be ready for that and not have killed everything. So I'll just keep topping up lines, rotating round, not going mad, waiting for some signs that fish start feeding. Another small carp by the looks of it. On the ground bait and not expand. That's the only way I seem to be able to catch it past. Past 12, so two and a half hours in. We've got ourselves a stalky. I mean, the crazy thing is, I'm not out of it yet because it's just so hard, even though I've literally got five pounds and two, two and a half hours into the match. You just never know what's going to happen with. Uh, in the last two or three hours. We've got another one on. From, again on the ground bait rig. It's now nearly three hours in. It seems to be the only way we can catch them. It just seems like there's a few fish over on that corner now. They weren't there before. They're just starting to work. I'm going to shorten my lash down because it's been a bit long. Try and keep away from the water. I don't think it's going to make any difference. I'm just try and make the most of it now. This is the first better looking fish I think I've caught for a while or even seen. It'd be nice if I can get him out. So I'll just take my time with him. He is properly hooked. A little mirror. Got like the first one we had. Two pounder. More than welcome. I've done another one on the this time on a swim to the right. You can see our first bite I've had over there since I've been fishing. Maybe they're just starting to have a feed or up in that shallow water. Maybe we can just start alternating and nicking a few fish from here and a few fish from there and see how we go. Not a big one again, but I can't grumble at the minute, just anything will do. Fish are hard to come by at the minute. It's all common. The two pounder. So we're into something better. It feels better, I'm hoping it's better. It's half past one. Um, I kind of took a gamble and put a big pot of ground bait into my little corner swim where I've had a few fish from. And then I tried a couple of other lines while I was sort of let that settle. And then I've just gone in, a little tiny pot of ground bait, just to you know draw a fish close to me up bait and I've had one. It's the best fish I've had from that corner for a long time. Might be the best one of the day, but I'll let you know in a second. But it did go like crazy. I thought it was like a massive or foul looked, but it it just looks like these fish are absolutely wampy at the minute. Definitely got a bit of energy, they're not as cold as they were. He wants one more strip, and then we've got him. There he is. Right. That was nice. Right, it's 20 past one, about like 20 past two I think, actually, sorry. And I'm into something. 
I'm just starting the feeding ground bit hard up against a really, really steep slope over the far bank. And I've, and I've just fished this rig up against it. And it's gone straight away. It's a very big fish on my looks of it. So this will be a nice little bonus. If I can get him out. White torpedo, it's like a fucking barb. <laughs> Oops, sorry about the language. Definitely woke up a bit of these fish now. Oh, it's a grass carp in it. I think it's a grass carp. Never caught a grass carp before. It looks like a grass carp. Eddie, Eddie, Ed, the grass carp in here, huh? Looks like a, this looks like a grass carp. That's what it is. Look. Wow, I've never caught one before. It's my first one. I didn't even know they were in here. Look at that guy's grass cart. Just shouting over to Eddie, sorry if I was a bit loud. He's a bit of a... got a bit more experience in this place than me. And he said, yep, there's a few in here. So there we are. I don't know what that is. I'm going to give it four or five. Go for four. Wow, never would have thunk it, would you? Grass cart. Well, it's a couple of minutes later and we've got something else on. Gone off a bit wild, I think it's probably small. How wild it's gone off. But it's, you know, two fish in two puts, which has never happened to me all day. Might be foul locked, don't really uh, know. We seem to be responding to it like ground bait now, and I'll just put a bigger cup on and just start putting more of it in. And um, he's in the pile. And they seem to be having it a bit now. Any little, any little boy out there. I might get off my box and mix a bit more ground bait up because this could be something. This could be something we got here. I've not got much ground bait with me. I'm just going to have another couple of fish first before I get that carried away. I've big, big potted it over there, big potted it on that line. There's another fish now, guys. Not straight after that one, maybe a couple of puts, but definitely coming to uh, the ground bait now. That one hooked, this one hooked itself. Just pulled the elastic out before I could even lift the pole up. Feels like it's another small. A little two pounder. I think proper big boys ain't feeding much today. So seen how to hear of them. I have got a line fed down by the platform to my right that I've been topping up every now and again with some hard pellets, hoping to pick some off later. But we'll see. We've got an hour and a half left. The minute I've just started cashing over, I don't really want to come off it. This is actually not all right one. This one, three or four pounder. Fish and I've had four fish in the last sort of 10 or 15 minutes. Um, it's just fishing for you, isn't it? You just never know what's going to happen. This one came from my left hand swim against the bridge where the bridge meets the far bank. Smaller fish this time, definitely smaller than that bridge. But you can't be picky at the moment. Just trying to get something in the net, trying to play catch up with everybody else. Wait, that's all the weight. Oh, we've got 
got just over an hour left. I don't know if other people have started catching as well. I can't. I can only imagine that they have. I can't imagine I'm the only person that suddenly started catching. But I'm so far behind them. Don't know if I'll be able to catch back up now. I've also got me pan with Dave to think about. I've got a pan with my mate Dave. Don't want to lose a pan, do I? Little side bet, he's on peg seven, he could be empty and it's a good peg sometimes, sometimes it's hard. Mm -hmm. Up to another one on the right hand swim again this time, just see. It's, you know, it's not fast and furious, but. I've got 18 now. Huh? If I get this in, I might have 20. Be where you were two hours ago. Eddie's, Eddie's not believing my clicking. Thinks I'm, he thinks I'm emptying it, but you know, I've not caught for a long, long time, and then the fish I have caught have since since then have been small. This is fighting weird. This fish. It's got myself on. I'm all up in my hand, isn't it? Then I keep it then. on the far bank dried up, we've got like 20 minutes to go and I saw some fizzing down by the bridge and I thought maybe I'll be able to get a tench or something before the before the aura acts, I certainly ain't going to be able to win the match now or frame or anything, looks like I've hooked something decent, could be a tench, could be a cart. I don't really mind either way, it's just something in, just something on the hook for five minutes. Pulling well. It's good fish. What it was. You can see the mostly hook there. Just nicked him. Oh, and after losing my tench, I thought I'll go back over and see if I can make one more fish. This is going to be the last fish I can't imagine I'm going to get another fish. I'd be lucky if I get this fish out before um, before the all out's called. Just going to use the far bank and just hooked him. Another nice little carpet. Three pound and finish the day off.